we can use multiplication to find equivalent fractions, that is, to find fractions which have the same value. So first, one third is equivalent to how many ninths? Well, nine is in the three times table. Three times three is nine, and when we're finding equivalent fractions, what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well, and one times three is three. So one third is equivalent to three ninths. Three is our missing numerator. Now, three fifths is the same or equivalent to how many tenths? Well, 10 is in the five times table and five times two is 10. What we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator as well and three times two is six. So that's our missing numerator. Now, two fifths is equivalent to how many twentieths? Five times four is twenty, so to work out our missing numerator, we need to do two times four, which is eight. Now for these next questions, it's the denominator that's missing, but we follow the same steps. Eight is in the two times table. Two times four is eight, and here, what we've done to the numerator, we need to do to the denominator and three times four is 12, so 12 is our missing denominator. Two thirds is equivalent to eight twelfths. Now, three quarters is equivalent to nine over what? Well, three times three is nine, and what we do to the numerator, we need to do to the denominator. Four times three is 12, so our missing denominator is 12. Three quarters has the same value as 9 twelfths. And we can see what we're doing here with fraction bars. So 1 third is equivalent to 3 ninths. We can see that if we shade in 3 of these ninths, we have the same amount in both fraction bars shaded. Now, 3 fifths, if we want to find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10, we can split our fraction bar into 10 pieces and we can see that we need to shade six of those pieces so that the fraction bars have the same amounts shaded. So it's really important to understand, six tenths is not larger than three fifths. Six tenths is equal to three fifths. It has the same value because we can see here, we have the same amount shaded. Now, two fifths is equivalent to eight twentieths because the same amount is shaded now, two thirds, we needed to work out what the denominator was. We knew that the numerator was eight, so if we have the same amount shaded and split what's shaded into eight pieces, we will have 12 pieces in our fraction altogether. So that's eight twelfths. And three quarters, we knew that our numerator was nine, and if we split what's shaded blue into nine pieces, we have 12 pieces in our fraction altogether, so the denominator is 12. So the important thing to understand here is that we always multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Next, we'll work out how to find equivalent fractions by dividing. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or Go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.